Hello everybody and welcome back to the third instalment of Ender All Forgotten Stories. Now if you're returning after watching the second and or first instalment then welcome back but if you're new, hi, welcome to the channel. I post these videos every Friday so don't miss them. Let's get started. Okay so last we knew we were in Yero's basement, see there's the, there's the corpse. Jaspar went and zoomed off, oh it's a creepy corpse, yeah Jaspar went and zoomed off somewhere up there so I guess we've got to follow him. So it's a teleport scroll, let me just, here we are, we go into here because I did just pick up a memory book. So yeah let's follow the skills of mercenary. So it increases one handed damage by 8% so we should really get that because it goes on to more beneficial things. So let's do tier 2. Okay, so now let's go and get our teleport scroll and follow Jaspar back to Riverville. There we are. Oh, let's put the mace away. Now we go. Wouldn't these be so handy to have in real life? <laughs> Don't people think that's kind of weird that I just materialise out of thin air? Oh, what's this? A secure chest. That's kind of cool. Right, I'm just going to stick loads of stuff in here then. Because I am aware of the carry weight. So all the stuff that I could probably sell later on, I'm just going to stick in here. I think the set items better, yeah. I hope to one day get a full set, that'd be kind of cool. We don't need any of this, I'll just make sure I'm not eating that. But no, it's going in the chest. Don't need any of these. Don't need the keys. The only thing you really ever need in this miscellaneous part is coins, lockpicks and soul gems if you have charged items. Let's go find yes. Jaspar then. I think he said he was in an inn. Yeah. So this episode we'll be travelling to Ark, which I'm excited about because Ark is just like an amazing really. Okay. <laughs> By the righteous path. This guy is walking so slowly. Oh wow. What are you doing, Jasper? Oh my, that's not how you sit down. <laughs> well, well, well. Haven't I seen this fair lady before? Mm -hmm. How about a sip of wine? Sure, because he's gonna appreciate it or like it in a year. So, are you ready for our little journey? It seems that Riverville's Myrid's injured. Oh, of course. So we'll have to go by foot. Uh, yeah. uh, what's a Myrid? Oh, right. You wouldn't know that since you're Naramese. Myrids are giant flying creatures. Quite nasty when wild, and quite useful when tamed. You can find Myrid towers all over Enderall. And for a small fee, the keepers and their Myrids can take you from point A to B in no time. Hmm. But, as I said, Riverville's Myrid's injured, so we'll have to walk. Oh, let's go. The sooner I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. Let's wait until nightfall, though. That way it's less likely we'll run into an ambush in the pass. Like Yero's mother did. Uh, one more thing. Up to now, you've seemed more like the close combat type to me. In battle, I mean. That's right. Am I right? Uh, I guess so, yes. I knew it. I'm asking because I was in the market just now, stocking up on provisions, and I got myself some new reading material. Here, I think you might find this useful. Hmm. I mean, the only ones I'll, I'll find useful is the one-handed. Uh, what are these books? The Arizalian in My Bed, Sensual Confessions of a Vagabond Lady, Volumes 1 and 2. 
you know, for the lonely nights. Uh -huh. Jokes aside, these are learning books from arcanists or master fencers, depending on what you read. You know how to fight, but if you want to get better, you have to enjoy reading these once in a while. Hmm, thanks. You're welcome. Then off we go, I'd say. You go on ahead. Just take the route leading north out of Riverville. It'll lead us straight to the mountain pass. Okay, so I guess Jaspar's gonna follow us now. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, he's accompanying us. Jaspar follows you again. Uh, just where did I put it? I remember this. When you don't stick to the right path, he like says something funny about you going off. You it's... Sometimes it is quite immersive. This game is really immersive with Malfus's its dialogue. Blessings. Malfus's blessings to you too. Where is Jaspar? Oh, there he is. Um, so we've got to go on the path to arc. I know this is quite a long part, so I think most of this episode is going to be us travelling to arc. Hi, kid. Hey, you there. You want to know a secret? Oh no. It must be Silas's sister. Okay. So it is quite dark, so I've made sure to turn up the brightness so that you guys can see, like, the place around and stuff like that. There are some fights and quests along this path, so it won't just be me running headfirst to up, which would be kind of boring. So obviously I'm going to be talking for it as well. I was going to say, the amount of times that I have played this game though, after a while, this part, at first, this part was all... I don't really need that. This part was really um, like one of the one of the best parts of the, of the early game, like traveling to Ark because you finally get a to get to grips of the land and just the beautiful setting that Enderall is. But after a while of playing the game, I usually just go and go into the TLC, is that or TCL, when you no clip basically, and I just run straight to Ark. Oh, just bars found something. Oh, pit rats. See, like, I like how it shows you his health and his stamina. And I really do like the XP, like how they do the XP in this game. It's a lot better than Skyrim was. To be honest, this game is a lot better than Skyrim. Do I need to go over here? Oh. Starving wolf. Mm. So there are wolves in this game, it's not just mountain stalkers or whatever they're called, deer explore, stalkers. Aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. I guess that means I'm not going on the right path. See ya. I don't know if I've actually have taken the time in Enderall just to run aimlessly around and search loads of places. I really should. I think I've I've done it in one half of Enderall, but I haven't the other. So sometimes, or sometimes on Reddit, I see like people posting pictures of stuff, and I'm just like, I've never seen that place before. Of the whole time that I've played Enderall, I haven't. Oh, I have actually. My health is really low. I just had to go and do something then. Let me get some pumpkins down. There we are. See, those moon carrots are really helpful. It's just they're never where you want them to be. You know, because obviously back then when I saw it, I didn't need my health to be replenished. But, like, some of these fights on this road are quite hard. that a bandit over there? I think it is a bandit. <laughs> now look oh. a lonesome traveler. Are we by any chance on Penny Road where Yero's mother died? See, with Jespar it's fine. I wish Jespar would like follow me the whole game because he's just OG. Yay Jespar, we did it. And they do not have anything good on them. I think an iron claymore is a two-handed weapon so I will not take that. Oh no, there is a guy. That was a lunge and a half. 
See, just about his health is just barely going down. He is just amazing. I wish he just stays with us the whole game. Okay, so I'm gonna go and loot this house because more money is good money. Ooh, that wind just then. It's kind of creepy. Oh, that's soul gems. I will, I will enchant my like mace and stuff later on in the game when I get better weapons, because there are some really good weapons in this game. Okay, stain mushroom. Might as well take it. I was big on potions in Skyrim, but I'm not so much in Ender. All seems that it ups your arcane fever. Now that torch I just picked up would be pretty good for you lot to see things better. Especially when we're looting. Is there much up here other than one chest? Who would have four potions just in one chest? I think that is all that's up here. Yeah, because we can't search these barrels or crates. Okay, let's continue on the road then. I'm pretty sure it's this way, yeah. See, the torch is a lot more helpful, so you can actually see things better. I mean, I wish we didn't have to travel at night, but just for our words, you know. Well, we must be in a, a colder climate. Or on top of a mountain. Oh, what's this place? Some sort of abandoned fort, scout tower. Huh. Hang on a second. Oh, what's the matter, just bar? Let's go see once. Quite the sight, isn't it? I can't really see. It's moments like these that make life so damn worth living. I think Ark is actually this down there. This a trading post, in case you're wondering, but it's been deserted ever since the isolation. Ooh, the isolation? Yeah, that's what we call the decree that was made 30 years ago here in Enderal. Simply put, the Order decided to reduce their trade with other countries of the civilized world to a minimum. Not a very economical choice to make, but that was roughly the time when the Lightborn Eridan left Nerim. The Order was probably afraid something similar could happen in Enderal. You know, open harbors quicken the exchange of information, which in turn quickens rebellious thinking, and so on. Since the decree, trading in Enderal has been subject to very strict regulations. And only the wealthy can still afford things like Termitralian wine or Kalean spices. Anyway, since then a lot of once flourishing trading posts have closed down. Such as the Three Rivers Watch down at the Sun Coast. Or this one. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to take a look for yourself, feel free. If not, let's push on. We still have a good march ahead of us. Oh yeah, good march. Okay. I don't want to. I might look up there. No. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna go in here because that's just wasting time. I just want to. I will do some quests there from here, but I do just want to get to Ark. What in the world is that? like I said before this playthrough is just gonna be me doing the like the main quest first and then I'm gonna go back with the same character going to die a lot still love the name and do things like the Relata quest line and the golden sickle quest line I can't wait to do the Relata quest line okay come on wolves I'll let Jaspar take care of one of you of course they both go for me. Come on. Great, now I'm on basically no health. And there are no moon carrots around here as far as I can see. Oh, this guy didn't go very well. Is 
I don't want to use a potion at the same time I can't find any moon carrot. It's never there when you need it. Let's just carry on. I'm gonna have to just get something down me. Oh. I eat the beef. I'll just should I have one of these? Yeah, okay. I'll have one. Who's this guy? Hey, you there. <laughs> yes, you come over here now. I need your help. It's urgent. Why does he keep elongating hey, his words? Oh, no, don't say again. Over. He's he's up the hill in that camp by the fire. But it's his turn to take watch, and I'm bloody freezing out here. Tell him to come here right now, else I will go back to Ark without him. He sounds drunk. Um, I'm just going to do this, yeah. I think feud between brothers. Get over to help Bunvar with hunting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. I don't think I've ever actually done this, so I'm not sure what happens with it. Hi. Mm. What do you want? Get lost. There's Get nothing lost. for you to see here. Your brother sent me. He said he's freezing and it's your turn to watch. Or does he know? Then listen up, pal. Since we've come here, that fat bastard has done nothing other than get plastered. Tell him that until he's sober, I won't move a finger whip from this fire. Oh no. It really is a feud between brothers. Alright, let's go and tell him that. At least they're not too far away. We can get this done quickly. All of us says you're an idiot who does nothing else but get plastered. Until you sober up, he won't come. What? Well, I'm drunk? Because this idiot made me wait out here for hours? If it weren't for him, we would be on, on our way back to Ark already. Tell him to move his fat ass over here right now. I love this. Oh, tell all that Bumva said he's cocky. I don't think he said that. But I guess in, in other words. Bumva told me to move your fat bottom. Oh, did he know? Did he know? Well then, you tell him that what he wants interests me as much as the colour of his fucking balls. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Tell Bunvar that Olvar said he is the braggart. I mean, like I said, in other words, yes. Olvar said that what you want interests him as much as the colour of your balls. What? All right, that's it. Go and kick that bloody moron's ass. Give him a knuckle sandwich. Smack him in the gob. Spank the living shit. Ah, you know what I mean. I think you can do that yourself. Bye. Too much of a coward for that, are you? Fine. Oh, just wait. You sodding son of a tour. I will show you who's. Boss. Wait, is he gonna fight me? Are you gonna fight me? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What idiots. Uh, is he Welcome gonna fight me? Brilliant people, fair lady. Is he. I think he's. Is he gonna fight me or is he gonna fight his brother? What are, you, are you fighting me? <laughs> what are you doing? Talk to me. What? Leave me alone. I need a God, break. I thought you were going to, like, fight me or something. Okay, let's carry on. I've never actually done that, so I honestly thought he was going to fight me. Still looking for moon carrot because my health hasn't really gone up much from that potion. Oh no, as I was saying that. Yeah, let's let's just get some potions. Oh. It's a saber cat. I hate them. Trust they're really powerful in Skyrim as well, so I wasn't surprised that it like almost killed me. This bridge does not seem Steady. 
Okay, so I recognise all these paths, so I'm pretty sure we are getting close to Ark. I still haven't found any moon carrot. Oh wait, is that? No, it's not. It's just something glowing. Ah, oh, there's bandits up here. Just by where are you? There you are. Can you help me take out the bandits, please? <laughs> Thank you. See, I'll help, but I don't know how much I can help because my health is like still an issue. Dual towers. Right, my armor, his armor is like better. So I'm just gonna wear that. Okay. I'm just gonna let Spar do my. S I'll just like get. Oh no. That guy just lunged at me. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Oh no, stop following me. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna run. So at least it's not snowing anymore, which means we are getting off the mountain and going closer to Ark. Oh, he's still following me. I'm gonna try and go somewhere where he can't get me. Over here. Here we are. Oh, I hear a wolf as well, that's even worse. It is right there, but I don't think he can get me from here. See, I'm smart. Yay, Despar's come to save me! That's enough. Go, Despar. Thank you. I mean, why would you have a bloody skull in your inventory? <laughs> How do you fit that in your pocket? Uh, just by there is no point going up there because I'm just gonna keep going without you. I think he might actually follow me though. Right, so luckily we are in the forest now, not on some mountain, which means that we should be able to go to. Oh, Take your time, what? I'll wait. I thought I was going the right way. Oh, um, let's get this skill point. Oh, that picture is really cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go still on the blade dancer tree. So I think the next one is something about, yeah, 25% less stamina. Do I want to? See, I, I wish that you could just go past that and go to straight to the ones that just increase your damage because like stamina isn't a big thing for me it's damage but oh well uh, we'll get it next time are. let's push on <laughs> so i've always wondered about that like do we when we meditate do we just disappear so it was like i was here for a second and then just by just like turns around and i've gone ah so yeah this is the way i'm supposed to go for arc yeah, I've always wondered about that, because sometimes he says stuff about it when you come back, like he just did, or when you first do it. And I've always wondered what it even was like. I'm guessing you just disappear. This map is really beautiful. So like, for a game that was developed by like the fans of Skyrim, this game is just like 10 times that of Skyrim. Obviously Skyrim has like an amazing storyline and you know I would never like not play Skyrim but at the same time it's like I would never not play Enderal and Enderal just has something else to it because it was made by the fans so it's kind of what they what we wanted in Skyrim but more. See this? I love the city guards outfits here. And the little piggies. Hi. <laughs> there it is. Ark. Majestic, it is. isn't it? It's probably one of the best places in this whole entire game. And I stand by that because Ark is just amazing. 
Even if it like even if yes. it wasn't the city around it and just like the guy, Malthus I'm guessing, holding the Sun Temple, it would still be amazing. Oh. What are these well. And this is a a potions thing. And this is something to do with um like a song poem or being read or something in the dancing nomad. Madame. That's kinda cool that they have adverts for stuff. See, why couldn't Skyrim do things like this? They could have, like... Honestly, Bethesda take notes for Skyrim. Like, you know, Elder Scrolls 6 or 7, I'm guessing it would be. I don't know. I don't know if they're counting it. Are they counting it as Elder Scrolls 7? Or are they counting it as Elder Scrolls 6? I don't know. And here we are. Welcome to Ark. I've got some things to take care of here. So let's meet at the market once you're ready to meet Grandmaster Teolor Arenthiel and his mages in person, all right? Teolor Arenthiel, the former Grandmaster of the Holy Order? I thought he was imprisoned in Nerim. By his own son, Nerazul, yeah. But roughly two and a half years ago, he suddenly appeared back in Enderol, accompanied by a handful of mages who once fought against him in the Great War. Weird, I know, but that's how it Wait, was. Let me get this straight. The Lightborn's most trusted servant returned to Enderol with the of his former comrades? He, he did, yeah. Arch it seems that something happened between him and them that made them sort out their issues, you could say. They're allies now, and frankly, nobody quite knows why. You can imagine what kind of uproar that caused among the Holy Order itself. But in the end, Arenthiel got things his way. You can say what you want about him, but he never lost his charisma, that's for sure. So that means the Lightborn's most vicious enemies now work together with the Lightborn's most trusted servants? You're telling me. But apparently their alliance has something to do with this red madness. I guess we'll see what happens. Could you tell me a little more about the city, where I could find some near gear, for example? Oh, sure, I should have thought of that. Pardon You're me. excused. All right then. Ark is divided into five pushed? districts, Hi. not counting the harbor. You are very the close to me. Socially distance. Right um, um, socially distance. Nobles quarters, the south quarter, Jesus Christ. If you're looking to gear up, I guess the market would be the place to go. You can find anything there, from food to weapons, armor, and whatever else you need. If it's magical supplies and alchemy you need, however, you best try your luck in the nobles' quarters. But prepare yourself for some dismissive looks. Up there's also the bathing house and the theater, in case you have the coin for that. Sounds cool. Finally, there's the temple, which is hard to overlook. Normal citizens are not permitted to enter it. And from up there, the Holy Order reigns over this country. Mm. But if all goes according to plan, you'll soon see it from the inside. And then there's the yeah. Undercity. Yeah, Undercity? Does that sound too inviting? That's where the Bernata yeah, is. It doesn't, and it isn't. The Undercity is a cluster of caves directly beneath our feet. And down there is where the poor and the sick live. Not to mention those that the Order doesn't like to see in their neat, pretty streets in the Upper City. Not a place I'd recommend you visit. At least not unless you're looking for mischievous things. Okay, I think I'll find my way around. Great. Then see you later and enjoy your stay. Thank you, Jaspar. So, this is a hark. Bloody amazing place. Like, even just the architecture as well. Oh, this is about the sign. Because Ark is such a big city, it's like it's easier to travel between places with the signposts. What does this say? I'm searching for you. Uh, gentle nature. Meet me on the island in front of Ark. Maybe we'll do that later. Now I do know this. I like talking to this guy because this guy has scrolls. My dame, do you have a moment? Um, I think the two of us could do business together. What do you need? Well, it is actually quite simple. But since you were kind enough not to just ignore me and walk by as the others did. I would like to share my gratitude for that first. You travel a lot, don't you? I can tell by the mud on your boots. Here, one of these books might come in handy on your journeys. Which one do you prefer? Um, uh, say enchanting. Yeah, the enchanting one, because I am going to do enchanting later. Splendid. Say, would you happen to be interested in earning yourself some more coins, or? Even better, more books like those? There is something I need help with. Uh, I might be. What's troubling you? I have a problem, and this problem is called Celia, which happens to be my sister. Where should I start? In the beginning. 
You know, I am one of those people who wasn't given everything by fate. Quite the contrary, in fact. When I was a child, the village I grew up in, Foamville, was ambushed by bandits. And both my father and my mother died during the attack. Um, my condolences. Thank you, but it's ancient history now. Fact is, my sister and I dealt with this event differently. We managed to flee the attack and make it to Ark, where the guards, of course, threw us into the Undercity. But while I tried to honor my father's heritage by using the little I could from our savings by setting up a business, she preferred to wallow in her misery instead. She got to know the wrong people and has, since then, never done a single bit of honest work. Frankly, she's a dust addict. Day and night, she does nothing else but rot in those drinking holes in the Undercity and blows what little money she makes on her drage. Now, of course, she is still my sister. So all of these years, I paid her rent so she doesn't have to sleep on the streets. However, things have changed. Recently, she started using our father's heritage to pay for her addiction. And I will not accept that. Let me get this straight. She blows your money to buy a drug, eh? Well, technically it's our money. Basically, it was a share our father had in a small business here. He was so proud of it, you wouldn't believe it. Luckily enough, I managed to save that paper from the bandits and turned it in at the bank a few years ago, after I realized how valuable it was. Since then, it has turned into quite a formidable sum. Nothing huge, of course, but enough to save my business from bankruptcy. You understand? In theory, it is our money, but without me, she would probably have sold it for a bottle of ale. And I won't let her spit on our father's heritage that way. Um, I see. Um, why don't you just talk to her? <laughs> oh, believe me, I did. Which is why she simply hid the key to our safe in the bank somewhere that I couldn't find it. So, long story short, this is where you come in. I want you to get her to give me that key. How you do it is up to you. But if you succeed, it won't be to your disadvantage. Fair enough, I'll help you. Where can I find her? Anywhere there's rats and dust. But she spends most of her time in the false dog in the Undercity. One of those dumps I told you about. Just come back to me once you've found something. Hmm. Okay. But, um, other than that... This guy is a merchant, yeah, so... What? Oh, yes, sure. He has what loads of teleport scrolls, and usually if I've got enough money, I'll just spam buy all of them. But I'll just buy the ones that I need, like the teleport scrolls to Ark, and the teleport scrolls to the barracks. Actually, no, I don't... I don't think I'll need the teleport scrolls to the barracks in the Undercity just yet, but I think I might buy them just in case. I'm gonna buy some of these learning books as well. So where is it? Scrolls. Here we are. So yeah, um, Ark Scrolls and Undercity Barracks Scrolls. There we are. I'll, I'll get two. No, I'll just get one. I don't even have enough pennies to. Foreign Quarter. Hi, Aspirant. Uh -huh. I don't know who that is. Work, work. Life isn't easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Drunk. Stop it, oh, you me. haven't said anything. What's your problem? You, you bloody flood your eyes on me, woman. <laughs> I, uh, you, you think I haven't noticed, don't you? You, you say sorry at once, or I'll, uh, I'll smack your oh, mouth. Wow. Um. And this, dear friends, is why we should take it easy on the booze. Why, you, you think you can mock me? <laughs> Alright. You'll regret Oh, he's going to fight me, any? Yep. No weapons, <laughs> nobody dies, and nobody don't know what that last part said. So I'm just spamming the mouse button. Nearly got him. There we are. Are you gonna talk to me again? What's he gonna say about that? Okay, oh, okay, I oh, just leave me alone. Oh, damn bullies. I'm a bully. Says him. 
Okay, so I think I have to go to Madame? the marketplace as a traveller. Hello. Um, I'll trade some I stuff might. with you. What do you need? I don't know if I have much that I can sell though. Um. I suppose yeah, I can sell those scrolls. And those books that Dispar gave me that I won't use. Oh yeah, that's about it. May his to guide you. So yeah, I have to meet Dispar at the marketplace, which is here. So let me get the floating marker a little bit. Oh, Max, nice bud. Hmm. Hmm? Can I help you? Here he is. Hi. Uh, well, look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you Not don't really. know Not really, I'm used to big cities. Yes. Right, you're from Ostian, yeah, I, I almost forgot. They're quite fascinating, these places, aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. And every place vibrates with life. You have to like it. Well, I do. Yeah, so do Here, I. <laughs> put this on. And before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Clean garb. A fine hat. Oh, um, no, I'm not wearing this. This hair doesn't go very nice with it. <laughs> Let me just take the hat off. I think I'll be fine. There we are. Yeah, that's better. Come on then, let's go. So I think I'm guessing we're going and to the Sun Temple now. Who carries the Sun Temple on his back? Isn't that a gesture of service? Okay. So I'm guessing we are in the nobles quarter now. Yes. The place where we're supposed to get dismissive looks. Yeah, yes. nobles quarter. So so about this fever, usually those gifted with magic have to report their talent to the order and then pass a ritual that teaches them how to deal with their magic. The journey to the water is what they call it. Once they've passed that, the fever reduces to an endurable level and new archivists have their names registered in some kind of holy book. But there are other ways to get rid of the fever, and I hope my employer can I tell hope you so about too. It. So I, I definitely don't want to okay. do this whole journey to the water thing because it seems like it'd take a while. Come on then Jasper. This is holy ground outland. But I do Jasper I think is gonna make something up for me. I think that's why he's made me put on this costume. I don't really remember. So I'm guessing here is the entrance to the Sun Temple because I'm starting to see the keepers. Yeah, Sun Temple. Hold it, my sir. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. I'm Jaspar Delveric and I work for the Naramis Mages. Ah, oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marija de Luna from Ostian. Esteemed holder of Deluna's oh. Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most I'm prestigious important. perfumery in all of Vin. Archmagister Marigil sent for. Her. Didn't he tell you? The Archmagister. Um. Well, that does sound like him. Fair enough. You Thank know God. Us. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. You too, my dame Deluna. Have my word. You have my word, fair <laughs> lady. Thank you. Okay, so I am um, something about Deluna now. Empire of Fragrances. <laughs> I hope people do actually like realise who I actually am and then they're just like, oh, you lied. Okay, so this is the Sun Temple. Well, that went better than expected. Yeah, it did. 
Marijo de Luna, Empire of Tender Fragrance. Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Narathal Orenthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master, Teolor Orenthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Ooh. Order. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathal's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Come, follow me. Huh? Keep your chin up. Okay, let's go to him then. Okay, so let's follow Jaspar into here. Are you gonna go in? Here. Yeah. Alright, so the Chronicum. To find Constantine Firespark, the Nerumese mage from Nerum, I'm guessing. I never have, I never actually have played Nerum. I really should, but it's also the fact that I've never played Oblivion. Skyrim was my first Elder Scrolls game. Alright, here we are. Here we are. Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no! That's not how you do it! Oh. Blast it! I'm just being careful! We like have to- Like we do! Give me that thing! Now! Jesus. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in there? Blasted, blistering blazes! <laughs> I, uh, that's what you get for working with fumblers. Flumblers. I <clears throat> told you, we like should be spot. careful. He doesn't sound what? nice. Now who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. Joseph. So why are you here? Had any luck? Just bar. And yeah, we did find something. I suggest you first of all tell me when <gasps> I allowed you to drag your flings up here. Excuse Do you me? need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? I'm not dating I'm sure a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? Oh, you don't this even talk about the costume. Like just feel her aura and you'll see it. That's just Bar's fault. Aram, just as you are. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. <laughs> anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat. I'll have a look at that fever of yours. He's not very nice, but I do like him. All right then, this will tickle a little. Hmm, yeah, you're right. This aura does feel different, complex somehow, and mm, powerful. Yeah, I'm powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm. Fine, fine. I, I will. That is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic, and how you met that scrounger. Poor Jasper. He gets called Joseph and a scrounger. <laughs> hmm. I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Uh, again, I didn't just... Well, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, again, I didn't just imagine these visions. They felt different somehow. Real. Ah, uh, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? 
Drafted, blistering he loves blazers. saying that, Does this doesn't he? Look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal Orenthiel here, didn't you, my sir? Ooh. And you told me that in this vision of yours, the veiled woman said this. It all begins with the that dreams. she did. What? Is that true? It is, actually. Oh. Then this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? A glistening white light and charred bodies, but the flesh was unnatural and grey. I heard all these voices. Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyanced back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. And how can we do that? Get my magic under control? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Endraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the journey to the water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation bland food and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. Great. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremis know of a way to quicken that process. Thank God. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. All right then, I'll do this ritual of yours. Where can I find this lashery? She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, uh, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. <laughs> I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. <laughs> I love him. I actually love him. Okay. Quite a character, yeah. isn't he? Yes. But I like him somehow. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, Good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. I'll see you around. I'll see you around too. And yes, I definitely will be stopping by the Dancing Nomad because Jespar's like relationship missions are amazing. Anyway, I think that is it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, give it a like. And if you want to see the next episode, subscribe. I'll have the channel, like the channel linked, obviously, is the description. And then. I'll have the playlist linked in the description for you to watch all of them. So, bye!